Welcome everybody, Nanka here, and it's time for another episode of Sold in Shorts. Well, I hadn't had planned on hearing record yet, but welcome everyone. Sold and the Grin Brothers here, and it's time for a continuation of my Sold in Shorts star of Sonic Forces. And as you can see, my avatar is completely different here. That's because I'm doing one of the yellow SOS missions, which replaces me with a different character. Yeah, there it is. Oh, so that's what Void does. Okay, yeah. I was wondering where that was. Been looking for a red ring for a while. It's great that I've managed to find one here. But yeah, uh, they did the yellow SOS, which means you play as a different character. So in this case... Oh, cool. And it even picked up the rings. Oh, gosh. Thought I was dead there. Yeah, got it. Aha! Yes! Uh, Percy the Peacock did all that! He totally did! <laughs> Next episode, Park Avenue. I am totally serious, as you can tell. Sonic and Silver need time to heal. Uh, Knuckles, you can go, or Amy can go, or SVO. Oh, almost missed there. I love Cube. I mean, you might as well. The rings really distract me, and you know those red wisps don't do anything. So why do they? Shouldn't they only pop up the wisps that I can actually make use of? They end up uh, spawning all the old wisps as well, even the ones you can't actually use, which is really confusing. But okay, at least I managed to figure out what was going wrong, and that definitely did not go right. Still, there's not a single red coin so far. It's kind of disappointing. Or red ring. That did not feel like a success. Honestly, if I get if I don't, if I get an S rank, I'm not gonna believe it. I got an S rank. What the heck? I don't believe it. Truly, this is this game really illustrates Percy's character quite well. Like his whole ambition here is just to be fashionable. You know, he's just doing this for the clothing. Let me just uh, take it off for a second to show you. Yeah, that's his underbody here now. It looks ridiculous, so it kind of fits him perfectly. <laughs> Very over the top. And that is Percy to a T. That was awesome! Of course the... I didn't get a single ring on that, so I'm going to redo this one before I continue on. For well, it's probably This is probably going to be the last episode. Uh, hope you enjoy it! I was going to do a bit more but of, you know, just off-screen gameplay, but I unlocked an extra, so I'm going to do this, do the whatever missions I feel are enough to fill up uh, the rest of the time, and then, yeah, I'll be the last episode. I feel this is enough to try to gather some thoughts. Okay, so what's extra pod then? Oh, oh phew, okay. For that. No! Gosh darn it! Oh, come on! Oh, Stomp in a Sonic stage. Um, okay. Okay. Surprisingly, all this stuff was just stomping, but okay. Slide in the Sonic stage, really? Another SOS! Oh, it's a classic Sonic one. I was kind of hoping to finally get the custom character fighting a boss battle. Because, you know, I've got, I've got one with... I've got two with modern Sonic, one with classic Sonic, but none with the custom character so far. Very Casino Night Zone-esque. Oh, this is going to be a long one, isn't it? There we go. I assure you, Tails, this is the perfect time for game. Particularly in the fact that I can't get past here. That wasn't all entirely I was doing it for fun. That was a case of me being stuck. Yeah, there's no stomp with Classic Sonic. Kind of a shame. The stomp's very useful for being able to help control Sonic's speed. And usually that's not a problem with Classic Sonic. Because the speed's usually more tightly refined. But this guy's very slippy. Come on. Ah, oh, takes me back. Let's see if I can get some jackpot. No. Oh. So I was thinking of, a way of how to describe this, sum up this game, and I think a good way to describe it is, it's like a roller coaster, which the roller coaster itself is fun, but it's over very quickly, and then you think of all the kind of annoyances to before the roller coaster and after the roller coaster, you know, the queue you have to wait in line for it and all. There's lots of there's lots of moments of fun with the game. The game has a good bit of adrenaline to it, 
But there's also lots of rough spots, like thinking it overall, you know, like a lot of other Sonic games has done a lot of its elements better. It only comes across as just a, a weaker version of Sonic Colors, but there are good ideas here. Again, the customizable character Rookie and Sonic Double levels are an amazing idea. So ultimately, it just kind of makes me think that what they should have done, yeah, um, but kind of, you know, the double sections, as great as an idea as they are, and as the best feeling, the feeling of like a smooth transitioning better than Sonic Heroes or Sonic in 2006 ever managed to do. Yeah, if I didn't have to keep bumping out these ladybug robots. No, I missed the red ring. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh. Whew! I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen, but. <sighs> Looks like that was supposed to happen. Is that a cube up ahead? Yeah, cube. Ah, done! Son of a. Of course, I get distracted for five seconds and then get hit by spikes. <laughs> oh, come on! It'll be annoying if the sort of last stage of. Oh, wait, I could have gone up here. Should have just done that from the first I thought I saw something in the corner of my eye, but. Yeah! And now I just gotta keep a good eye out on trying to make sure I get that, la that ring this time. It's kind of annoying, aside from. The uh, general movement, there's not really much you can really do. You can't really sort of like jump or anything, so there's very little you can little you can take control of. Darn it! But yeah, like, um, yeah, with the boost mechanic, it only just makes me think that what they should have just done is effectively just make Sonic Advance free in 3D. Yeah, this seems like the very worst level to be ending things off on. No, come on! What am I supposed to do there? Okay, yeah, I got that ring as well. That's pretty neat. Like, yeah, like you bump those out. Like I figured you're supposed to to get rid of them to make sure they're not a problem. But then they keep respawning, so it's not like you can really control much of it. It just feels very chance-based there. Luckily, it's a short level, but darn, that was annoying. Really not one way I wanted to cap things off. Yeah, this is going to be the rookie meeting up with classic Sonic. Oh, he's discovered the little fountain room piece. We met before. And he is older Sonic who was from the past but now from an alternate dimension. Like the opposite of Silver who used to be from an alternate dimension but then came from the future. I've heard this isn't too long of a game which given how short the levels are I wouldn't be surprised. Um, they might be that there's lots of levels it's just how short each of the levels are. And hey, getting back some ground there. Let's figure out what this secret stage is but all about. Not sure how I unlocked this, but hey yo. Okay, should have expected that, but I figured I'd have more time. Character's hardly a speed demon. Oh, come on! Okay, I'll give take my time. Or don't do that. Like I said, you lose kind of all momentum. When you double jump, so it's a little really awkward trying to do it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so not too bad. I imagine that was an, an S rank, but yeah, like the game would normally be better if you know custom character was ditched, classic Sonic was ditched, and the focused on making effectively a 3D version of Sonic Advance 3, where you had Sonic and his various different allies, uh, and get did the sort of focus on that double level feature with a double boost, and you know, think of the ways they can also do different mechanics together. I think that only would have made for a much better game. Of course, the things holding this game back is the fact that it's lacking a lot of polish, but the core game in play is pretty fun. We will see it more of a sequel to Je Sonic Generations, but honestly, with the way it plays and the way the levels are structured, it feels more like a sequel to Sonic Colors. So I would say that's the best way to view this game. View it as a sequel to Sonic Colors, more so than a sequel to Sonic Generations. It's following more of a Colors template. Ah, yeah, you know what that. Probably a smaller earpiece, really. Oh. Bling bling, yeah. I think that might actually work there. Yeah, the tuxedo sort of top particularly works well. The sparkly, for some reason, skin tight outfit, yeah, also fits really well. Yeah, so here is Percy the Peacock. 
Not quite as flashy of a tail or a crown like he probably would have. You know, small little crown. But yeah, I'd say this is a good representation of Percy the Peacock. There we go, folks. And that was my first impression, so my sole and short start of Sonic Forces. And of course, my, um, playing through as Percy the Peacock. Oh, hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to share your thoughts of what you found out for of Sonic Forces. I've kind of summed it up before, although I've kind of summed up uh, throughout all of this uh, last episode rather than uh, at one convenient spot at the very end. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'd love to discuss the game review or other games with you, so feel free to do so in the comments below. And cheerio!